All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on uh, installing these camshafts and getting them uh, degreed, so we can uh, continue on getting this motor put together and have it ready to go when we get that converter. Slap the transmission on it and uh, put the old grill in the car. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you just gotta install the cams, uh, you know, straight up to begin with, and then uh, we can start checking them. So let's go ahead and uh, install our uh, our uh, cam followers and, and lifters, and uh, then we'll get the cams put on it. All right, here we go. All right, guys, here's a shot of the uh, custom cans that we got from uh, NAA SVT Todd Warren. Our set of custom turbo cams come from Lunati or Lunati ground, ground them. Uh, this is the specs on them if anybody's interested. 475 lift on intake and exhaust, uh, 259, 259 duration advertised, 212 and 212 at 50,000th tappet lift. And the intake, the, the intake center line or installed center line is going to be 106. So if you see the lobe center line is 109, we're going to install it three degrees advanced to give us a 106. All right, there's the part number and the grind number. So, all right, I'm going to take these out, clean them off in the parts washer, make sure all the grease and rust inhibitors and all that stuff is cleaned off of them and uh, then we'll get to a degree and I uh, got the wheel set up and everything so let's go ahead and get these cams cleaned up and get these put on.
All right, guys. Uh, this is everything you're gonna need to uh, degree a four valve mod motor. Uh, first, we'll start off with you're gonna need a degree wheel. You don't have to get this particular one, but it's uh, one of the nicer ones. It's big, so the numbers are large, so they're easy to see. Um, wasn't too expensive. I want to say it was around 60 bucks. But here's a part number. It's a Moroso Pro Wheel. Part number 62191. It's an 18-inch wheel, so it's a lot bigger than some of the smaller 10 and 12-inch wheels, and it's a lot easier to read. It's a super nice wheel. Um, some things you will definitely want to have. You're going to want a piston stop um, to be able to set top dead center on it. Um, I went with the cheap one, and it's a Pro Form uh, 66792. It says it fits Chevy V8s and V6s, but it works for the mod motors too. They all have 14 millimeter uh, spark plugs, so um, so that works great. Cheap. That was only like 10 or 12 bucks. Uh, next, you're gonna need uh, if you're gonna wanna adjust. Let me get this shit out of here. If you're gonna wanna adjust, you know, if your cams are out and you got to move them a degree or two or three or four, you're gonna need a way to do that. The cam gears that are adjustable that are on the market are kind of shit, and they're just I, I'd, I'd avoid them if if all you know at, at, at all possible. Um, but these, the Trick Flow, you see there TFS dash five one eight zero zero five zero five adjustable crank gear. This will give you up to eight degrees of advance or retard um, on your cams. It just all it does is just replaces the factory uh, sprockets there. The factory is a, a one single piece, a one piece deal, and the trip flow is a, is a two piece deal. So you can, you know, if you want to do a four degrees advance on this side and two for whatever reason on this side, you could. But really easy, simple. They're about 70 bucks. And they're uh, made out of a nice billet material, so they're not, you know, they're not a. Uh, a powdered metal like the factory shit is so yeah you don't have to have these but if you if you're gonna make an adjustment it makes life a lot easier then next thing you're gonna want is a comp cams crank socket once again uh, a small block Chevy one fits the mod motor perfectly so go ahead and get you a comp cams 4793 or any crank socket that's made for a small block Chevy. And that's what this is right here. It's got a, a, a keyway in it to fit over the keyway on the crankshaft. And then it's got a grub screw you tighten down. And then this knurl then, you can screw this off, put your degree wheel behind it and tighten it back on and then That'll, that'll retain your degree wheel and then it's got a half inch drive uh, head on it to turn the engine over while you're degreeing it. Works really good. Um, and then anytime you gotta adjust your degree wheel instead of taking it all the way off if you're using a regular bolt nut you just loosen this a little bit turn your degree wheel tighten it back up you're good to go. That was like 30 bucks 30 or 40 bucks. And then you're gonna you're gonna have to have this the Trick Flow TFS 90100 uh, modular degree kit. It's a supplemental kit. Trick Flow sells their own uh, degree kit. Um, and this is a supplemental kit to that degree kit that helps cover the mod motors, two valve, four valve shit. Um, it comes with, uh, here I'll just show you, make it easier. Okay. You see right there the thing at the black on the bottom there? That's your uh, adjustable lash adjuster. Because you need, uh, obviously, the mod motor has hydraulic lash adjusters, and 
when you're degreeing a cam, you need a solid latch adjuster in there. So this is adjustable, so you can set zero preload and get a, get a solid latch adjuster. Some people take old latch adjusters and weld them, you know, weld them solid. That'll work too if you want want to do that and you already have one. Then it includes uh, the steel plate that'll bolt to one of the cam caps. You bolt the middle notch or whatever notch to one of the cam caps. This will retain it and this will allow you to sit your magnetic base dial indicator, which I'm not sure what I did with. Oh, that's sitting right there. Mag base dial indicator. You're going to need one of them too. Um, but this plate in here is metal, so the magnetic will stick to it. The, the magnet will stick to it. It won't stick to aluminum, so you got to use a base. And then it's got this long Allen key that is used to go down inside of this solid lash adjuster and adjust, uh, you know, to change the length on it. You're going to need that too. Um, and then it also comes with a 4-inch extension here, it's this black rod, 4-inch extension for your uh, your mag base style indicator because you're going to need a long extension on there to get down to the top of the valve spring retainer. So, but anyways, that all comes in that kit. So, something you're going to want. You're also going to want to get, you don't have to have this, but it makes the job a lot easier. Instead of having to put the chain tensioners on each and every time, and then every time you need to adjust it, you got to take them off to move to remove the chain to you know to adjust the sprockets and all that shit. Instead of having to put the tensioner on and off every single time, you can take and get one of these, uh, you know, ratcheting clamp deals. They sell them at any of the hardware stores or the big box stores, and. You see the tensioner right there, it's keeping tensioner on the chain. Well, instead of having to have that on there, you can come in there with this, boom, clamp it on there, tighten it down, and it keeps tension on it. You, you got to have tension on these chains when you're degreeing it. Otherwise, it's going to change a whole bunch once you do put tension on it. So instead of having to take this on and off, you know, 20 times, all you got to do is release this, get the slack when you get it back to where you want it, put it back on there, tighten it up, you're done. So highly recommend that. They're cheap. You probably already have one. So let me put let me put it back where I keep mine at. Got a bunch of them hanging on the wall here. So so yeah, guys, that's the main components you're gonna need to do a four valve or any mod motor for that matter. So uh, you're also gonna need a, a pointer for your degree wheel all I used was a metal coat hanger bent a you know a little circle up grabbed a washer and a bolt and tightened it down to where the alternator normally bolts to and just bent it and shaped it till it pointed you know right on my uh, degree wheel you'll see in the pictures how it was set up but you need, you need something sturdy something that's not going to move you know so that's uh, worked pretty good. So you can just make that, like I said, from a metal coat hanger works really good. But, uh, so yeah. So anyways, guys, I had a bunch of footage of doing the actual degreen, but it's such a tedious job and so time consuming that the camera ended up shutting off and I didn't realize it. And and I kept working, and after the fact, after I went to unload the data, the data off the card onto my computer, um, realized I only had about 20 minutes of it, six hours degree in these cams in. So I guess you know, I definitely ain't gonna take it apart and do it again for for the sake of YouTube. Sorry guys, but it, it, it's a pain in the ass. I'm gonna be right up straight up up front with you. Probably gonna want a buddy and a couple beers because it's it's a pain. It's a pain, guys. I'm telling you, it's gonna take a while. Um, so, anyways, sorry I couldn't give you an actual video tutorial, but I was so flustered with this thing trying to get half degrees here, quarter degrees there, that I just uh, didn't bother looking back at the camera, and it shut off. So, anyways, let's keep on moving. <laughs>